Each vaccination brings Washington closer to immunity from COVID-19, closer to life, back to normal. And tonight, even more data shows we're getting closer to the end of this pandemic. Now, Mayor, you're not typically here to tell us good news, right? No, not in the past year. Every Wednesday, I sit in these COVID briefings and hear a lot of gloom, but tonight, that's not the story. That's partially because of this. You could see this huge decline in cases across Spokane County over the last two weeks. Just about each day, we're seeing fewer cases reported. And in the last seven days, Spokane is averaging fewer than 150 cases per day. This, along with the state nearing 1 million vaccinations, creates a lot more hope in Washington right now. We are coming down the backside of the third wave right now. Another wave of COVID-19 starting to fade into Washington's rearview mirror. Cases, hospital visits, and deaths are all on the decline across the state. People are following the guidance. You can see that data for yourself. Hospital admissions for COVID are down by 8% in the last two weeks across Spokane County. The virus has killed 99 people in the last month, but that is 45 fewer deaths than the month before. Cases are also down by 12% in the last two weeks. It is worth noting the county is testing about 400 fewer people each day over the last two weeks, but the health district says that's because there's just less virus in the community. The state is also looking out for new variants by taking positive cases and further testing them. As those variants continue to spread, masking up and distancing becomes even more critical. I want to encourage everyone to keep uh, working hard because uh, this, is not, this is not the time to relax. This is a time to be diligent about it. Vaccinations are the clear path forward to the end of this pandemic. And tonight, Washington is nearing 1 million doses administered. That's about 78% of the doses the state has. And you can see Spokane has given more than 68,000 shots so far. Now, the county and state are still waiting for more doses. They only received a third of the amount they asked for this week. 4,000 of those doses went to the Spokane Arena. Clinics like Providence got a small batch, and another 974 doses went to the health district for long-term care facilities. The state hopes this supply increases dramatically by March, with plans to make the vaccine available to everyone by this summer. Now, those vaccinations and trends like this are great news for Spokane and the rest of the state. Right now, there is some optimism that Spokane may be ready for phase two when the state report is released this coming Friday. But again, they use data from about two weeks ago to decide that as it's the most accurate. So we'll know Friday where Spokane and the East region stand.